Hi, I just want to talk to you a little bit about how to watch a video and take notes for this class. So remember that notes are taken for when you forget. You will forget things. So this allows you to go back and see what you had learned because it's written down. Some students think that notes are all about helping you remember. Like if I write it down, I will remember. And yes, you are more likely to remember, but that's no guarantee that you will. So notes are for when you forget. So expectations for videos in this class. Um, one is that you will watch them. So you will actually watch them. It's not just getting the notes from someone else. It's you watching them. Uh, two is it that you will take the notes. Um, it's really important that you write them down and you have a copy of them because you will go back and access them later throughout this course. And the third part is that you will listen to what is said. It's very tempting to have it on mute and just write things down that are on the screen, but I promise you will be missing things that are said or explanations to things. If you don't do these things, you will not be allowed to get help from me or retake tests. So if I, you're asking me a question in class and you want me to help you, I might be something where I say like, okay, I'll pull out your notes packet. Let me show you how to solve this. And if you pull out your notes packet and it's blank, I'm not gonna help you until you've gone and watched the video. This is really important that you do it also before class because then when we start class and I go through more explanation, I'm under the assumption that you've watched it. So I'm going further, I'm giving more examples. Um, I am kind of relating different content to what you've already done. And if you haven't watched, you aren't gonna understand what I'm saying and you aren't gonna be prepared with any questions that you might have. So I wanna give you five tips for watching a video while taking notes. Tip number one is, like I said before, listen while you watch. Make sure you are listening. So have the volume on, have your headphones in if you need to, um, but make sure you can hear it. If you also wanna add in the closed captioning, that would not be a bad idea. Two is to pause and write, then continue watching. You have been in a class before where the teacher talks and expects you to write at the same time, and the teacher thinks you're listening while you're writing something else, and you can't do both. So, and you especially can't do both well, if at all. So my advice to you, my tip for you, is to pause the screen, write down what you see on there, and then when you're done writing, hit play and listen and follow along. You can add different things as you go that maybe are said, but you're not trying to do two different things at once. Three is to rewind as needed. Like, don't be afraid to go back, whether it's right while you're watching the video the first time or it's later as review. You can review and rewind and watch different parts as needed. Four, while you're watching, write down any questions you have. Don't do that thing where you think, oh, I'll remember my question when I see, when I see Ms. Kaufman in class. You very likely might not remember your question, especially if you're not gonna see me for a few days. So please write it down, write in your notes packet or put a big question mark by something you don't understand or big star, put a highlighter. Make sure you mark down or you make note of any questions you have right when you have them. And the last tip is anything that I write or draw, you should be writing and drawing them also. If I'm drawing extra diagrams or doing a little extra problem or kind of explanation, like let's say on the side or on the margin, you should write it too. Because if I'm writing it or saying it, it is important. I will not write or say things that are not important for the video. All right, so when you finish this video, just send me an email. You can do a remind message or a Schoology message. Tell me which tip you need to work on the most. Which one are you the weakest at? This is worth three extra credit points. So if you do this and you do it by the end of like this week, so Wednesday at 7 a.m., you will get three extra credit points and they will go on to your test.